Hi students, uh, welcome back. Let us continue with the topic uh, traveling sales person problem that is the by using the dyna dynamic programming approach. So in the previous video, I explained what is a generalized how we are traveling from one city to another city. So this is an equation that we have to be found out by using the traveling uh, shortest path, finding the minimum cost tour for traveling the salesman person. Okay, let us consider one example. So, I am taking one graph, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here the four cities, let us take these are the four vertices, the four cities. And the path between the cities are like this. Okay, so let us take, uh, start from the vertex 1. We have to visit all the cities and we have to find out the shortest path. Uh, that person will visit all the cities okay so the cost of the cost adjacency matrix so for this the starting adjacency matrix is if the city starts from 0 means if you are starting from this vertex 1 so that it's, it is 0 and from 0 1 2 3 4 so total 4 vertices are there 1, 2, 3, 4. So from 1 to 1 the cost is only 0 because if the person visit the same uh, town means same hometown okay if the person is still standing there means the cost is the traveling cost is 0 only. From 0 1 to 2 the cost is 10 and 1 to 3 the cost is 15 and 1 to 4 and the cost is 20. Suppose we are starting from city 2 the cost is 2 to 1 is 5. If the person is visiting the same city means the cost is 0, 9, 10 like that. So this is the adjacency matrix for this the given graph. Okay. So these are the values. From this we have to find out the uh, minimum cost of the tool. Now let us start the program. Problem. So this you have to be uh, take as a reference. Now let us start. Let us start the tour. Okay. Let us take the vertex 1. Now I am taking vertex 1. Starting from vertex 1. So the formula. What is the formula? G of 1 comma V minus. Directly I am applying the formula. Is equal to minimum of. 2 less than or equal to K less than or equal to N. C I K plus G of K comma V minus 1 comma K. Okay, so this is actually the normal formula. So generalize it, generally we write uh, generalization for this formula is G of I comma S. So G I is the starting vertex, starting uh, vertex that we start from the tour and S is a set of the cities that we have to be visited, set of the vertices that we have to be visited. C I J plus G of J comma S minus J. Okay. So, this is the equation 2. So, clearly, uh, we know that G of, if we start from C I1, C I1, okay, this is I and this is a J here, I and G. And if we start from G of I comma 5, that is C I1, 1 less or equal to I less or equal to N, so that first G of 2 comma 5. That is C21. So the C21 is 5. And G of 3 comma 5. That is C31. C31 is equal to 6. And G of 4 comma 5. That is C41 is equal to 8. So up to here. Uh, so using equation 2. Okay. Using this equation 2. We have to be find out. So, these are the values. This is the starting. Uh, the person starts from the vertex 1. So, this is the value. So, if you visit the first, uh, the 2, 1 is a 5, 3, 1 is a 6 and 4, 1 is a 8. Now, using this equation 2, we have to find out the person start from vertex 1. He has to visit all the set of the vertex 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, this we have to be find out. 
starting from vertex 1 and he have to visit 2, 3, 4 cities. So, in which path he can choose either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 4, 3 or 1, 3, 4, 2 like that. Okay. By applying the formula, minimum of C1, 2. So, just taking this is I and S first I take 2, next I take 3, next I take 4 because S is a set. So, this is a set consisting of three elements. So, first I am taking C1, 2. I am applying I as 1 and J as 2. Next, I will apply I as 1 and J as 3. Next, I as 1 and J as 4. Okay. C1, 2 plus G of 2, comma. S is a set I am taking here. The set, the remaining elements in the set are if I take 2 and the remaining elements are 3 and 4. So, just write 3, comma, 4, comma. Next, C13 plus G of 3 comma the remaining elements in the set is 2 comma 4 comma C14 plus G of 4 comma 2 3 closed. So this I have to be find out. Okay. So this I have to be find out. So, if I want to find out this, I want to know the value of this and this and this. So, let us calculate individually. So, we know the C12 and we don't know G of 2, 3, 4 and we don't know G of 3, 2, 4. Let us calculate each uh, equation one by one and we will substitute the value here. Okay. So, first we will take the equation as, uh, first is let us take G 2, 3 of 4. So, from this equation, I am taking that is the G 2 comma 3 4. So, for this, I am applying the same prob, uh, equation that is G of I comma S is equal to minimum of C I J. That formula I am again applying here. Minimum of C 2 3 plus G of 3 comma 4 comma and if take C24 plus G of 4 comma 3. So, I am now solving the first uh, sequence in the uh, equation. So, again I do not know what is this. Okay. So, here for this minimum of C23 is 9. We know that. C, C23. The 2, 3 is 9. So, 9 plus G of 3 comma 4. Plus C24 is from the uh, mat uh, adjacent matrix, we uh, know that C24 is 10. G of 4 comma 3. But we don't know what is this uh, G of 3 comma 4 and G of 4 comma 3. Again calculate this and substitute in this equation. So let me calculate this. So G of 3 comma 4. So applying the same uh, equation here, minimum of C34 plus G of 4 comma 5. So, from this we will get. Okay. So, by using this uh, we can get. So, C34 is 12 and G of 4, 5 is 88. So, which we already calculated. So, G of 4, 5 that we already calculated here. So, where is the problem here? Mm, G of 4, 5 is 8. So, that I entered here. So, this is the 20. So, G34 we get 20. Now, I have to calculate G4 of 3. So, I apply the same formula minimum of C43 plus G of 3 comma 5 we get. So, C43 is 9 and G of 3 comma 4, 5. What is the value of G of 3 comma 5? That is a 6. So, just enter the 6 and the value is 15. So, we get 15. Now, substitute in this first equation. So, let us take this is a first. So, therefore, G of 2 of 3 comma 4 is equal to minimum of 9 plus 20. Okay, this is comma. 9 plus 20 comma 10 plus 15. Finally, Minimum of 29 comma 25 that is a, we get that value 25 for this equation. So, next, now this is clear. Next we will take this equation. Okay. 
so let me continue in the next video thank you